Well, if you've ever tried putting eye drops in, you know it can sometimes be a real challenge. For older veterans or those with disabilities, it can almost be impossible. And there's a group of UC Engineering students working to fix that issue. Yes, I'm really glad you guys are doing this. It's a packed house for lunch here at Price Hill Chili, but instead of lunch, this group of veterans from VFW Post 10830 in Green Township is taking part in an experiment. This is actually part of our senior design project. Matthew Bobbitt is a senior UC engineering student, and he, along with four other senior students, including Kenny Nichols, are focused on solving a problem you may deal with as well eye drops. The main issue was that they couldn't squeeze the bottle, they didn't have enough hand dexterity, or they would squeeze the whole bottle out in one go. This is really the first time we've gotten out with folks to get, get their hands on them and look at it, give us feedback. Terry Olinger, a case manager for the VA Eye Center, first noticed the issue with her patients. There were a lot of patients who weren't doing their eye drops or they were I was reordering their eye drops really frequently because they were using too much. So she approached the innovation team within the VA, who in turn got with the nonprofit Quality of Life Plus to work on a solution. Us five decided to work with this Quality of Life Plus, which is a nonprofit that works with veterans, uh, making either specific uh, catered solutions for disabled veterans or in this case, uh, you know, a solution that will ideally help a multitude of veterans. Veterans like Bob Abrams. I was particularly interested in this project because I have to take eye drops daily. Right. And I know that sounds like a simple thing to do, but when you're trying to get those drops in your eye and you're wondering if you made it or not, you, you waste a lot of it. The students have two prototypes. This one you place on your eye and pull a trigger to release the drop into the eye. The other design goes on like a pair of glasses and releases the drop by squeezing the handle. You don't have to reach up, stabilize, or anything. I like that other the uh, the glasses one. Michael Donnelly is the commander of the VFW Post. That would that one really works because it's like a mechanical thing that you put in and it just drops it down. It's not a good product if it doesn't work for the veterans. Right. So getting their input, they're designing it, telling us what they need and how it works for them. Now the group will take the feedback provided by the veterans back to the drawing board to make further improvements and one day it could be available to everyone to use. Learn more details about Quality of Life Plus in this story on WCPO.com and over on my Facebook page, McKee WCPO.